here, I have this edge here. So I'm going to utilize that and have this portion in front of it because then I can have the cables on the back if needed. As you can see I mount the other one on the side for now, just to get rid of it and all the cables. I have this one here that will be the mount. And the display is roughly where that hole is. And they say in general that you should mount it in eye height. And luckily I'm very tall. So I can mount this rather high up and get a lot of space on below. Um, there will be a couple of cables going on the side and they do recommend 20 centimeters on each, each side for cooling. And they also recommend 50 on the top and 50 on the bottom. Because I will have this in an enclosed uh, closure. And that means I will get a lot of heat so I need to drain that as well. Uh, since this is in my garage I have a lot of dust so that's why. If I'm keeping this unit on this side I will would like to have some kind of space there as well. This one will mo most likely be mounted a little bit outwards. This one, I mean, rather big holes. The thing is, I won't be using such big screws with such heads. I could have been using something like this. Um, but at the moment I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to screw in normal screws like that one. And to be able to do that, I need to drill a lot of small holes instead. kilo on the wall and it looks beautiful and this will conclude part one I have now mounted the brackets it all looks good temporary temporary I have mounted this one on the side so we'll leave it as is um, in the next episode I will try to actually get the connection set up and everything like that. I am missing the cable that will go from the grid to this inverter. I'm also missing some security switches for it. So, Meanwhile, thanks for watching and I hope you liked it. Comments or suggestions or anything, just put them down below. And if you like it, put a thumbs up. Thank you and bye.